What's up guys, it's your boy Jamaica here coming at you with another deck tech. This is my uh, equipment white weenie or equipment aggro deck. Uh, first of all, I want to make want to give a big shout out to Pixie Wing. Um, he started working on his deck at the end of season nine, and most of it pretty much carried over to this season. Actually, it got better tools, honestly. But um, if you haven't seen the deck before, the core of the deck is really just like core. <laughs> the core of the deck is actually core, like Armament Master, uh, Core Duelist. Uh, his list plays like kite. Um, Kite Sail Apprentice that uh, gets flying and plus plus one when it's equipped. And also Stonehaven Outfitter, which is actually one of my favorite cards. Um, uh, I used to play this in Standard when it was in Standard. Um, I forget what set it was, but I remember going like turn one Inventor's Goggles, turn two uh, Stonehaven Outfitter, and all of a sudden I have a white Tarmogoyf, so it's pretty sweet. But um, in Day Dreadful, there's kind of cooler tools to uh, make this thing great. So that's kind of the core of the deck, honestly. Armor Master. Outfitter than like some core, but the more I kept playing the deck, well, the more it was like it's just like very anemic. It's a really interesting aggro deck in the sense that you need two things with equipping: you need the dudes and you need the equipment. And then obviously they, the dudes are okay; they'll just attack on their own. But the equipment are just bad on their own. So how do you like fix that? Well, now we have like living weapon equipment, the flare husk, order pod, things like that. So let's just like let's just talk about all of that as we go along. So uh, twenty lands. All planes. This is a white weenie deck. Curve is at three, so I don't really need a ton of lands here. Uh, core duelist. Um, like I said, it's kind of like one of those dependent cores that really needs equipment. Uh, we have a ton of equipment, so equipping this thing is not very hard. Bullcraft exemplar is uh, taking the spot over Kaitel Apprentice. Um, honestly, it's it's a good card. You know, it's basically Wild and Coddle. I want my deck is full of Wild and Coddles, Tarmogoyfs, and other. Big idiots. So I like. I actually like Exemplar a lot. It doesn't need to be equipped. It just needs to have an artifact around. So it's much stronger start to me than having the evasion of a kite sail apprentice. So that's why I like it. Uh, Outfitter is a kind of a grindier package. It helps you. Uh, first of all, it pumps your team people that are equipped. So it helps out the living weapon uh, creatures. But the second part is really great. When a quick creature dies, you draw a card. So kind of helps you just kind of like keep churning through the deck, try, trying to find equipment, trying to find just like other spells, things like that. Art Master is pretty good. Um, it's pretty good with Captain's Claws, which uh, actually makes core. So you equip a uh, Art Master with Captain's Claws, um, you're going to start pumping out three threes. So it's going to be pretty sweet. That's kind of like the thing. I actually was trying to build like other, like sort of like more controlling shells with this and Captain's Claws, but I found this the Oracle Pack, which was... Um, another uh, card that I'm playing that other people aren't is Open the Armory. Honestly, most of the time, you can't really control if you're going to get a core or a creature. Most of the time, you'll probably just draw a creature. There's 19 of them. The other half of the deck is actually just all uh, <laughs> all equipment. So why not just have like your fill of the equipment? And honestly, Open the Armory also tutors for creatures now. Now that we have living weapon type equipment. So you never devoid of a creature at some point with, when you have Open the Armory. So I hope it actually works out. Uh, other random creatures to equip. Kemba is pretty great with equipment. Uh, there's another Pixie Wing suggestion. I actually really like it, especially if we have Shuko. Shuko is a free equip. So you can kind of just like move them all around for free. It's not a big deal. Anatha is kind of like a Vampire Nighthawk in a sense. That like, it's kind of like a 3 drop that's really good. It has a, just a bunch of random text on it. First Strike Vigil's Life Link. And the R of Equipments cost one less to cast. Not, you know, not completely irrelevant. It's really fun. So it's actually really. It really holds equipment really well, especially with the Vigilance first strike part. And then it's just a random spirit, y'all. It's, it's an artifact, so it helps out Exemplar. It's just another random anthem you know, that kind of does something. So let's talk about equipment here. Shuko, taking the place of Bone Sp uh, Bonesaw here from Season 9. Uh, free equips are really good, honestly. Um, there's a lot of like scenarios where you can go like, uh, turn with Exemplar, turn 2, double Shuko. All of a sudden you're attacking for 5. That's pretty nuts on turn 2. Or you can like double Shuko on a core duelist, things like that. Shuko's just really awesome, especially good with Kemba too. You can kind of just move around the uh, uh, the plus one plus O. Oh. It's really good. I just I just really enjoy Shuko a lot, just for the free equip. Uh, Flare Husk. I love Flare Husk. I'm a big Flare Husk fan in general. Ace plays card in standard too, and that was legal. But uh, yeah, it has a one one body. Creature was plus plus one. Pretty good with the uh, Outfitter. You know, kind of you get a two-two when you have an alpha out when you still flare husk, and so it's good. I like it. I like flare husk. I'm a fan of flare husk. This takes the place of trust machete. Machete is a bit stronger, but I think flare husk is a bit more grindier. 
Uh, bone saw for the random times that open the armory you can kind of tutor for an artifact. When you go like turn one exemplar, we don't have an artifact. But you have the opening armor, you can go turn to Bone Saw. Now you have a free artifact in play. So you just get a one of, just a one of, just for the funsies of that. Kind of that's like the only like niche situation this will come up. Uh Mortar Pod kinda of, uh helps uh pick up small creatures like, you know, uh the mirror match, for example, like other toolcraft exemplars. Permit Druid, that's a big card in the Necrotic Use decks. Also, if you have an outfitter out, uh you have a free just kind of two mana draw card in a sense. And it kind of helps close out the game. You're going to get a bunch of like uh, tokens from the Captain's Claws, which is pretty sick. We already talked about the interaction with that uh, Army Master, but it kind of keeps making an army. Like, they'll keep blocking. Well, they might like, you might trade with the creature it's equipped with, but then now you have another creature to the other claws with. So the claws keep making more threats, and it's like it's a really awesome thing. Uh, Logs on Warhammer is really great. It's probably going to be in all my decks. <laughs> a majority of my like, Aggro and midrange decks coming throughout the season. You're gonna get sick of this card, but I love it. I played it in the Colossus deck. It's really amazing. It's good as a one of. It's good at like just kind of like clawing your way back into games. Um, it's awesome. It's really expensive, but it's really worth it. And it's, you only have one because of course we have opening armory, so essentially we have five copies. Sideboard. Um, admittedly, it's a little bit kind of like put together, like just randomly mashed together. More Declaration Stone for uh, token decks, especially Tempered Steel is really big. Uh, make a stand for the control decks, kind of helps against like, wrath effects. Also, a random other anthem effect to kind of push through damage. Or purified a grave, the hate against the uh, necrotic use combo decks. It's probably not enough, honestly. That that, that kind of matchup means that like, you need more dynamic answers. Metal fatigue is uh, strictly against tempered steel. It's going to be pretty great to uh, tap all the artifacts. You can tap a uh, you can tap with uh, equipment, and it doesn't really matter. Equip, uh, equipped tapped equipment still functions as it is, you know. And Sundering Growth for extra enchantment artifact hate. Uh, we're going to be uh, running through a league today, so you're going to get five awesome rounds of this great deck. I've already actually had a 5 vote very early in the season, but that was a very more normalish build. This is a little different. Open the Armory I'm trying out a lot, uh, but I've had, I played with Fairhouse, it's really great. But I think I think we're going to have a good time, so let's uh, go right into the deck. The first match. Alright, we got to match the uh, Penny Dreadful... Wee weenie equipment aggro deck. Win the die roll. It's always good when you're winning the die roll. Um, I'll keep. Start with the exemplar. I always start with exemplar. It just puts out the most damage quickly. Let's just have the claws out. So I have the claws armament master combo, so that's pretty sweet. Aerothopter, okay. So I think he's playing this Tempered Steel deck, so this will be an interesting matchup. Um, ooh. I think I have, like, a more busted draw. Being on the play is really good in these uh, white aggro decks. Oh, shoot. I just kind of clicked really fast there. I, um... My mouse has been, like, double-clicking lately. It's been really dumb. I need to get a new mouse. I, just, I think I just like super clicked fast. That was that's a little silly there. My bad. But anyways, I'm just saying, beyond the play is really strong. But I kind of just gave up the play there by not doing that. Do this right. You can still block the, the token, which is not a big deal. Okay. Did you see me double click? I felt like I double clicked that. I don't know. I'm gonna take it. Not even gonna block the token. Wow, okay. So he gave one back to me. But you know what? I'll let you have that one. So if he lets me equip the Armament Master, I'm going to make a big army. Even if this is a Temper Seal right here, it's not a big deal. He gets a 2 4, but my creatures could be very big. So the 2-4 can block, um, can stop the master here. Oh, he's going to attack, wow. Okay, so I don't think he realizes how much damage is going to be. So there's going to be another equipment. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. I don't know why he didn't. <laughs> but look, it's all my core getting at plus 2 plus 2, and I'm going to make 2 core here attacking, and it's 15. <laughs> That's 15! I don't know why you wouldn't try to block that. I don't know. <laughs> Even with the misclick. <laughs> Alright. 
Uh, man, I like all these cards, honestly. It's, I'm bringing too many cards, I think, for this matchup. I don't like Kemba's. They're a bit, they're a bit slow. Um, Warhammer's is really good. I'm just bringing a ton of, like, removal. Horror Pod, um, it could be okay. Uh, maybe I ought to play it a little better. Yeah, that seems pretty great. Spear seems okay. I'm not gonna spear. I think I'm just gonna try to mail fatigue my opponent out of the game. I'm not sure what Mortar Pro is gonna kill, actually. Outside of, like, Toolcraft Exemplar. Other than that, like, nothing else is gonna really matter. So, for that, I'm just gonna cut these. Maybe I just cut all the opens. Uh, maybe, like, two. I've got the bones on. It's the worst equipment by far. More card. The claws a little slow or I can cut a land. Doesn't seem terrible. I just got a one open. It's not like I'm it's not like I'm trying to tutor for anything. I'm just trying to like draw the right part of my deck. The open doesn't really help against all with all the um, interaction I'm bringing in. Um, yeah, I have the core uh, Captain Saws combo, so it's a turn three back for six. Not too bad. A one drop, good start. If I had a one drop, that'd be really. The like core duels would be really good. It would just get pumped by the master, and I could attack for nine. Claw another clause is good. Fortunately, my hand doesn't have any removal spells, so bad. Probably go like a turn to like Glinthog Idol or Servo. Well, Spine Thopter is fine too. Big race here, but Armor Master Claws is really good at racing. Let's see if he gets aggressive again. I think he will. I, I, given the ways I'm playing, he'll probably just attack. Especially if it's Tempered Steel in this turn 3 play. Are we okay? I can kind of deal with this. The true Shriek, that would be pretty amazing, honestly. What? I wouldn't be able to equip the claws. I kind of want to equip the claws here. So, crack back for six. I could play another claws next turn, or just go for Stonehaven out there. It depends what he does this next turn. Speculation Stone, that's a good, good. Eventually someone will get the removal spell, so... Um, I could double equip the core and try attacking for three, next turn play the Outfitter. It's the play, or I could try to draw a card, see what I get. I think I like double equipping. If I draw another Armament Master somehow, I can just like kill my opponent. There's no one man spell I can have here to deal with. Ally. And this is attack for five. I mean, still keeping on pace. I can believe he doesn't produce another blocker or doesn't try to kill my guy here. Expertise, that's pretty good. So now I really need a uh, Declaration of Stone. Stone would be great right here. We'll just take out three servers at once. Let's 
out here. Because this is the lethal attack in the air. Let's see. I guess we'll try to... It is a lethal attack, he doesn't have to block. <laughs> but he doesn't have the servos to block, really. He doesn't have to block. If he blocks with a Thopter, then for some reason he really badly. I also could have um, played this out a bit better. I could have probably not have drawn the card. Maybe like double equipped or single equipped or something like that. And then maybe drawn more cards that way. The outfitter. Alright. I was on a play, I won. They were on the play, they won, so get it back. I, I like more upon the play now, honestly. Bring in like one. I actually like Spear on the play too. <laughs> I really like Spear on the play. Be faster than Warhammer. Hey, you know what? I like the Mortar Pod though. Good against like a turn one. Art. I don't think I need that fourth open. If I draw a second land, this hand's like pretty. It's pretty grindy. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this just on the fact that if I draw a second land, it's great. I still have turn one plays, so. Player Husk is a nice little 1 1. At worst, I can just start pressuring with the Shuko. So, just praying for a plane here. Planes now, just a Shuko. Off of the trade. Okay. I was like, let's say, what if he kept the one laner too? Nope, just a Rotero Thopter. At least I, caught, I drew a Core Duelist. That's not that bad. I can keep the pressure on. I get the Duco this up, so I have Double Strike. So it will block uh, Bullcraft here. Can't cast Tempered Seal yet. Nice man. Nice. You could play a server exhibition and make his guy first strike as well. Oh, it's just going to kill it. That's yeah, pretty smart. And like Stone Race himself for that. I'm fine with that. Honestly. Same play, I guess. I'm doing pretty well with it only having one land. I, I must say. This guy. So same situation. Um, he has to have like a Declaration Stone or something like that. Tempered Seal is not that bad on this board. He's a 2-4 flyer. I mean, it blocks. It'll block pretty well. But I have like, when I draw my land, I have double Sundering Growth and a Declaration. So, we got... I've got things to do as soon as I draw the second land. Okay, cheap's good. Oh, that's great. <laughs> 
Um, I'd be getting in here. Three one double strike. Double blocks. He just trades. I don't mind that. When I draw the second land, I'll I'll have these like removal spells, and I'm like, oh, sorry, I didn't block here. Where is this? Okay, he's just gonna chump. That's fine. Fine with that too. Makes my part a little worse, but when I draw my second land, <laughs> I will have all the removal in the world. Tempered Steel. No? Zero Cruiser, maybe? Rams Expertise into. Okay, they're another Chief. Another Chief is great. When I draw my second land, I will have a nice Declaration in Stone to kind of deal with that. Exemplar, okay. Holy chump. Uh, this is so sad. This is so sad. My hand was really good. I think this was a very defensible uh, Wendlander. But, you know, that's the risk you take. Sometimes when you think about mulligans, you can only think, you can't think about what's going to happen later. You have to think about how your hand will play out. This is just too much to overbear, overcome. Let it be known. I can take out one of these um, chiefs, though, so it's not too bad. But I'm really behind the eight ball here. Actually, I'm dead. <laughs> Actually, I'm just dead. I was 12 and I was 13. That's sad. But like I said, sometimes when you keep these kind of hands, you can only deal with what's in your hand. Like, you can't think about this. You have to deal with how... It's playing out how you're gonna. Okay, hang on. You can't really rely on your top deck. 